sit, sit. <laughs> you said that would work. No. Try it again, try it again, try it again. Okay, sit. Or she didn't, I don't even know if she's. What is going on? She saw the camera. Did on. you see that? He said that she would catch it. She what? always catches it. I swear. <laughs> she hasn't caught it yet. All right, maybe it's maybe it's slamming. Slamming. Let's see it. Okay. All right. All right. Not not, not all that. Impre Daisy. Daisy. We've got work to do. Come here, Daisy. It's okay. Hey, it's okay. Come here. No. Come here. Daisy. Daisy. This is your moment to shine. Oh. Boom! Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the episode of Fishing with Flair. Today, we are, in fact, going fishing. Boys, how excited are you? Maybe smallies. Haven't caught one yet this year. I, have, I haven't caught one yet this year. Uh, have you? Oh, well, that's because you're a beast. You're a beast. Sorry, sorry. Well, folks, we are up in the great state of South Dakota today. Hopefully, we're going after smallmouth or largemouth or just some type of fish. But today, we are fishing. But before we get started, I want to say huge, 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 huge thank you for today's sponsor, Express. VPN. So if you guys don't know what ExpressVPN is, it enables users worldwide to protect their privacy and security online with just a few clicks. You see right here, this thing right here, this is you, right? This is you right now. You're on YouTube. See, YouTube's here. You're here. Well, from you to go from this to this, there's hackers, there's the government, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, but ExpressVPN is right here controlling the whole thing. It is on lockdown making sure your privacy is secure. One place that I really, really love ExpressVPN is in airports. You guys know I'm traveling all the time, going down to Texas, the Guggen HQ and back, and I have to upload videos, I have to go on YouTube, I have to do all the things on my laptop, and you guys know how sketchy airport Wi-Fi is. I mean, it's like pretty much the sketchiest Wi-Fi out there. But without a VPN, you're putting your personal information in danger, especially at a place like an airport where there's hackers, and all your personal information is just out there for anybody to get. But with ExpressVPN, it's secure. ExpressVPN encrypts your internet data, preventing others from sniffing your information when you're using public Wi-Fi networks in hotels, cafes, airports, etc. ExpressVPN is consistently faster than other VPN networks, and it's easy to use with just one click. So right now, if you click the link at the very top of the description, right down there, go click it. You can get three months of ExpressVPN for free with a one-year packet. All you gotta do is visit expressvpn.com slash flare to learn more. That's only $7 a month with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So with all that being said, again, huge thanks to ExpressVPN. They're really helping me out on this channel, so make sure you go support them. And this is stuff that you're, I'm not, you know, there's no jokes around here, folks. Secured information on everybody's laptop that you wanna make sure that no hackers get. Gov government's not spying on you all that stuff, ExpressVPN is the easiest way to protect your data. So go do yourself a favor, click the link at the very top of the description, go click it, go sign up. With all that being said, let's go fishing. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Got the old Ned rig on, the old Guggen Baits rattling Ned. Ready to do a little dangle session here. So the situation we have is we got a lake, well, kind of a cut, a creek, and then kind of a pond, and there's current ripping through here. So I'm gonna try to get to the mouth of it where the, all the water's flowing, because all the bass are gonna be up there, sitting there waiting for bait fish and stuff to get sucked down though by the current. So I'm gonna throw my little net rig in there and see what they think about it. It's on boys. Shit. Oh, it come, oh, it come off. Biggin, biggin. I mean biggin. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Biggin dude, I got smoked, I got cranked. I got absolutely cranked by a giant fish. Oh, snap, crackle, pop, first cast. We're going in again. Yep, got him. We're hooked up, we're hooked up. Oh yeah, big largey, big largey. Hang on, boys, current's taking me. Current's taking me. Oh God, fighting him against this current. Oh, come on. I'm gonna try to get up here out against this bank so we don't get sucked into it. Yeah, you wanna grab him? Shit! <laughs> Was that not the second cast or what? Oh, the old rattling Ned boy. That's what we're after, son. Chunky, little largey. Dude, talk about a football of a fish. Oh, you see my wall? Hold on, here, give me the camera, give me the camera, give me the camera. Oh God. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, yeah, I Oh God, he's at me. No way! No way! No way! No way! What is Okay, I'm releasing my fish. 
Dude, my, my, it was just sitting there. No way. Down, dude. This feels good. No way. I was literally filming. For you were dude. filming and your plopper was just was sitting there. I was holding it and I just, you just heard that explosion. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm going to try to get you. He, he's right here. You can get him. You can get him. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. Oh my God. Oh That's God. a big one, boys. Dude, 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 dude. You're right. You just go. There you go. There you go. I'm going to pull you. I'm going to pull you out. Oh my gosh. How did that just happen? How did that just happen? No way, we're oh, tripled. No. Oh, we tripled. Jesus. Oh my God, you no got a tank. Way. You got a tank. Dude. You got a tank. What is going on? Hang on, hang on, he's got a big one. Oh dude, chill, get him out, get him out. Get him, get him, get him. Oh my dude. gosh, we just tripled. How did what that just happen? On? How did that just happen? All on different baits. Yes. Whopper, plopper, yes. top water, jig. jig never. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, there. Oh. Wait, what just happened, dude? Is that, that the most fire thing ever? Wait, what? <laughs> no, what the heck is going on, dude? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. first cast no. just hook up. Literally, I missed one of my first cast. Count one on the second. You caught one on your first cast. Yeah. You caught one on your first cast. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Dude? All on different baits. Oh dude. my gosh. What the hell oh, is going on, boys? Yeah, one, yeah, go ahead and release them. These are footballs. Well, folks, welcome back to episode of Fisher Flare. Today, the channel is freaking lit. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that just happened. Don't cast against Slayman. We gotta like, we we need to like, cast at the same time. we should all three cast at the same time and see how much chaos we can cause. We gotta like chill for a second. This current is so strong. I don't have the pulse to drop. Dude, my heart is racing so hard right now. Like, what the hell? Dude, these are all three pound bass. Oh my Like God. chunky ass three pound bass. <laughs> I don't know, I am a loss of words right now. All right, John just passed the torch. He's handing me the plop daddy. We might have just found the juicy, you know what I'm saying? When I say there's, we found the juice, we need a new name. Cause this is, this is higher caliber than juice folks. I don't know what it is. All right boys, here's the strat. I'm gonna do my best to hold the boat. On three, we're casting. Ready? One, two, three. Can we get a triple? Oh, oh my gosh. That was a giant. Yep, I know. He's got it. He's got it. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got Sean's him. I got him. Oh gosh. Get out of those weeds. Oh my gosh. I have him still. I have him still. He's not going anywhere. Yep, yep. I got him. I got him. You just gotta let it sit right there, like in that current, dude. Oh, damn. Oh, Smalley. Smalley. Big Smalley. That's, that's a nice fish. First fish done. Smalley, dude. Dude. Big friggin' smallie on the plop daddy. On the friggin' plop daddy. Two for two for cast right now, dude. Sheesh. Oh god. Biggest smaller of the trip so far. Not bad. We'll let him go. Alright, John caught the fish out of our three casts. I'm going back to the Ned. He's back on the top water. Slayman's on the jig. I'm going with the finesse bottom bait. The one that's gonna be impossible to get the fish out once I'm hooked. <laughs> but hey, that's part of the fun, right? All right, we're gonna go across it. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God, giant We're double. Oh God, oh God, we're double. We're double, that's a big one. Grab it, John, John, just grab it. Just bear hug it, just bear hug it. I'm hooked up. Oh, throw it in the boat. I'm hooked up. I'm hooked up. Boys, boys, easy, 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 easy. Dude, this is a giant wall. I know, I know, oh I know, easy, God. easy, easy, oh easy. We got, we got a lot going on right now, boys. Sheesh. All right, I got a little largey. Okay, they just caught a giant walleye, and I just caught a bass. Look at that, we doubled up. You caught a massive walleye, and I caught a little chunky Lego. largey. Dude, look how far in That thing that is massive. That is a giant walleye, like a giant, giant walleye. walleye. Seven, 67? 68? 67. 67? So that means it is 26.37 inches. That's massive, Not dude. Bad. Shoo! I don't even know what just happened. We just showed up, caught big smallies, big largies, lots of them, and then a giant freaking walleye all in one spot. This is straight insanity. No, full send, we're going out here. Yeah, that's gonna be insane. Oh, oh, come on, come back, come on. Oh, oh, oh. got him. Oh, that was so Smiley. sick. Oh, he let go. Oh, he got, oh, what, what? We're double? Double. Oh my God. Dude, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh God, oh God, oh God. 
Mm. No, mine came off. Mine came off. Really? Biggin? Oh gosh, that's a big swirl. Oh god, that's a big large mouth. Oh, look at him. Oh golly. All right, right here. Right here. Right to daddy. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, god. Look oh, at the god. freaking chunker. Oh my god. <laughs> Sheesh, daddy. Oh, On the old rattling net, eh? Oh god, yeah. You bet. <laughs> Dude, look. That thing is straight gone. Dude, the rattling Ned came in clutch again. Just bombing it out there. Oh God, just out in the Dude, middle. Dude, you're dialed. You and John, I feel like it's you uh, You and John show. Here's your fish. 408, four pounder. The rattling Ned strikes again, Ooh. my dude. See you later, Sheila. Oh Woo! <laughs> Good work, dude. Y'all hey. are killing it. Woo. This is insane. This is insane. We're still in the same spot. And we're just picking different baits, different angles, different depths. And there's fish freaking everywhere. Yep. I don't, I don't know. I felt like a fish. Oh God, a turtle just went shooting through this. Oh yeah, there's a bass right there. Holy good ones right there oh my god oh my god like a five. Oh, dude there's a ton of giant bass right there the biggest largemouth i've ever seen are sitting right there yes there's no i gotta get a heavier weight on that's what i need so i can get behind that oh my i mean i'm talking like they're this big down there they're giant see him see him see him look at him dude oh my god, oh my god. look how big that bass is look how big that bass is but see your bait doesn't get to him the issue is that this bait won't get in front of them in time. Dude, I think we can catch these. There's one. There's one. I got one. I hooked him. I hooked one. I hooked one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nice, Largy. This dude, this ain't one of the big ones, though. That's a good one. Oh, my gosh. Look at that fish, dude. <laughs> Little Largy. Oh, we're doubled. We're doubled. Bring him up. Bring him up. Oh, my gosh. Dude, they're still sitting here. We just doubled up on little brutes. The rattling net, son. Oh my gosh. I don't know, we gotta catch those biggins. Dude, at least five. Oh yeah. Like bare oh, minimum easy. five. With how fat his four was and how short it was, dude, like those could have been seven, eight pounders. They were so long. So we need to... S Got him. Got him. Big one? That's a good one. Is this the big one? Uh, no, but it's a big one. It's a decent one. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on this is getting too easy it's almost like we're fishing in somebody's freaking aquarium here boys <laughs> i promise these are not the big ones i'm seeing down there but i'm gonna retie i'm gonna tie on something else a little chunkers we gotta catch these big ones off there's tanks down there Right now, I'm getting ready for battle. We pulled up on that little, basically where all the current's going, and saw the biggest bass I've ever seen underwater. I don't know how much they weigh or how big they really are, but I've seen a lot of bedfish. I've caught bedfish, you know, upwards of five pounds, and these look like they could eat those. I'm rigging up a heavy T-rig, gonna throw a big bait, gonna throw the trench hog. They're sitting right behind the break. So basically, to paint a picture for you guys, imagine a current going really fast, and then there'd be like a concrete slab that raises up from the bottom. So basically the current rips over the top, but right up against that concrete is gonna be a nice break. That's where those big bass are sitting. So when we throw our bait, the current rushes it. I need something that's gonna drop straight down off that concrete wall and hit those big bass in the face. Going with the best color out there, blue baby. Look at that, that's saucy. Here we go, you ready for this moment? It's kinda hard to see. Dude, the current's still taking this. Might need to go eat. There's one. Oh my god. Oh god, that's a big one. Oh that's a big one. That's a big one. It's a freaking tank. It's a tank. It's a tank. Oh god. Oh! First cast, boys. There's way bigger. This ain't it. I'm telling you, boys. This ain't it. That's a four pounder. That's a four freaking pounder on the trench hog. First cast, dude. This is insane. I'm telling you, that was not it. These, these, they were not, they were way bigger than this that were sitting down there. Look at that freaking fat panda. That's a four, easily a four pounder. 
back in the water she goes. Look at that current just ripping. Boom. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, dude, I'm looking at it in the water going, that ain't the biggest one down there. I'm gonna go pick, I'm gonna pick the trombone and go see if they're still there. I don't see them. We'll be back. We gotta come back tomorrow, maybe. There was absolute tanks down there, son. Tanks. All right, I say we let's leave this cut. So let's uh, let's go find some new juice. Not that big. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude, that was right there. Like... The frog. Relax, big guy. Sheesh, dude. Look how small their mouths are. Like they're these are large mouth, but they're built like small mouth. They just got these tiny little mouths. Big fat football looking bodies. Shoo! Finally. Got myself the old topwater frog fish. You can tell the sun's going down. But we're found this little canal here, so we're gonna kind of fish our way back back here till dark and then Hightail it back to the boat ramp. We missed it. Hang on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. He came completely out of the water for it. Throw it in there, Sam. Dude, that was a good size largey. Yep. There you go. Oh! With, you with the cleanup crew. Slayman's here on cleanup duty. Throw that little rattling net in there. And she you gets the job done. Like, right, dude, you, oh, you for sure catch him right here, like, just like, psh. Like, we'll do a punch off or something, everybody, pick, oh. pick. Oh, cheese oh, and oh, rice, oh. dude. Snap. Oh, Shoo. Oh, God. There you go. I wasn't even looking, dude. You finally got your frogfish. Got the frogfish. It's no giant, nothing to brag about, but, hey, sweet, sweet some calzones now. <laughs> Boy. Where's Johnny? Oh, there's Johnny. Johnny, what's for dinner? Wieners. My favorite. Shoo, buddy brought the, what kind of bougie ass buns are these? Oh, Bri Brioche, what's that? How do you say that? Hey, how do you say that word? Bro Bri Brioche, Brio Brio Brioche, hot dog I buns. There. I don't know. But they're the ones that are center cut. That's how you know things are bougie. What are we doing? We're, are we, we have wieners? Yeah. You I don't want to just microwave them? I feel like that's fairly Not logical. Calzone. I feel like that's very logical. Oh, we do have calzones. You can probably just microwave those too. I feel like we're, we, we normally you guys see us get on the grill game and we're chefing it up. Today we're on that microwave game. Hell yeah! What is this? All right, so we got pepperoni, pepperoni. sausage, and pepperoni. Ooh. Calzones, frozen calzones. So oh. that and wieners. So real men solve problems in this country. Take an arm, slamming. Right. You got the pepperoni filled. There you go, Johnny, me and you. So let's throw these things in the microwave. What's it say? Doesn't say. All right, I guess let's just uh, go for it. Defrost. Okay. We'll see if that works. All right, defrost it for five minutes. It is hot cheese and rice. We've got a weird feeling these are gonna be cheeks. Mm, they can't be that bad. Tastes like a hot pocket. It's not bad. I'm actually somewhat impressed. Well, can we cook in some wieners. <laughs> How many, how many boys want? Two, three? Gourmet dinner here in the cabin on the lake so far. Today has been pretty good. Went to a lake, caught a bunch of fish, actually experienced some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen in my entire life. Multiple fish, we had three fish on at one time. Sam caught a giant walleye, John lost a giant, wait, yeah, John lost a giant smallmouth. We're polishing it off with wieners and calzones. Hopefully long nights rest. Load up the wieners. Have you ever had a hot dog with words? It's like normally you're like pe peeling it here, peeling it here. All of a sudden they're like, hell no, change the game, put it up top. You ever seen that, Sam? Nope. Never. I feel like this is new. Comment down below. Have you, have you guys ever seen this? Maybe I'm late to the game, but I feel like this is like game changing. Power move. Because like, you know when you're like this and then you're halfway deep and realize yeah, it's, it's the wrong fall. side? Yeah. And then, and then you stick your wiener in there and like you take one bite and then your wiener's falling through the bun. And then you're like, over here, like it looks like you got a sandwich. Tell me that's not hashtag relatable. The struggle of hot dog buns, now solved. Yup. Cheers. 
cheers to a good day of fishing. Cheers to catching decent fish. Yes, cheers to losing decent fish. Cheers to catching more fish tomorrow. That's hot. Dude, I sunk my teeth in it and was like, absolutely, and you just went full send with the whole bite. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, let me know in the comment section down below. Remember, if you guys want to download Express VPN, click the link down below. Go sign up. Go protect yourself. Go do yourself a favor. Go click the link. Go sign up. They're supporting my channel, so go support them. But the boys, we're ready for tomorrow. Round two. Tomorrow, we're going back to battle to secure the freaking dub. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.